Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Area Macros Part 2. Area Macros Part 2. Uh, I, I wanna, I'm going to try to be very, very quick here. Uh, I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to show you. I have I have two decks. I have a deck right here. You see that? I got a deck right there, and I have a deck right here. I'm going to get the area of that deck. I'm going to get the area. I'm going to show the area of that deck, and then I'm going to add the two together. That's the that's that's what we're going to do right now. So as you can see, and here's my macros. It's going to get this is kind of like the uh, synopsis that goes on on my site plan. And you can see that uh, deck uh, deck three. Uh, you change make make your names all you change your names all you want. But uh, I got 602 square feet of new back deck three on level two. So level two. That's my second floor level. That's right there, right there, which is right there. <coughs> Right there, it's a level two and uh, area 602. So you can see that's right, 602, right? So now I wanna create the, I, now I wanna just get this area deck right here, level three, level three, that's what I'm gonna get. So TM, if I go to my uh, area macros, I'm gonna get, uh, all, all I'm doing is I'm changing this value right here. I'm going from a deck three to a deck four. So I'm gonna copy the deck three label, copy, copy, and it's gonna be deck three, uh, sorry, deck four, uh, bum, 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 bum. And come over here, new deck four, tab four. And I, this is just all stuff that Michael gave me. And so I'm just using his stuff. And I don't want to think too much. Uh, if I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. That's, that, I changed it. I, this is the label. This is going to be the label of the polyline. Okay. Done. Now, wait a second. I don't have, look. I just copied that deck three value, deck three label and created the deck four label. Now I need to create the deck three value, which is somehow the way you get the numbers from one place to the other. And I'm going to get a, a deck four value. So I'm going to take the deck three uh, label and I'm going to copy it. Uh, new deck four value. Uh, I just copied it. Get rid of this. Bub, bub, bub. And over here, and I'm going to go dash four. So it says new deck four dot round. That's all that says. Done. And so now you can see that I have a deck four, a deck four value, just like I have a deck three, a deck three, deck three value. Okay, done. So now I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to create that thing. Go upstairs. Well, here we, here it is. And I have this deck. Uh, just so you know, I have a deck right uh, one one right here. Uh, this is going to be on UU. I think it's going to be on CAD site uh, label line style CAD site CAD site building. It's just my stupid. I, I did this like. 10 years ago, and I haven't even changed my labels in 10 years. I'm going to give it a fill. And, you know, if I had to do it over again, I would. I mean, I, I do things different. But I, I, I made myself a promise when I got into this stupid computer stuff. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't going to spend all my time redoing things. I was just going to do it and move on. So here, here's my, uh, this is, I'm, I'm defining my deck, three to break, uh, right there. And so this is the shape of my deck. And that, how else do you define this deck? I mean, I could give this deck a label. But I never get. I, I anyway. I, I trust this more. So you you okay? Now I have to give this uh, polyline uh, a label, don't I? I have to give it a label. So I come over here and I go. It's going to be uh, objects uh, defined. It's going to be uh, deck four. New deck four. This is new deck four. Period. That's the label of this polyline. Okay. Okay. By the way, oh, see, it's even called out as new deck four, isn't it? That's what I want. Uh, now, now, okay, I got a label, I got a, I got a, a title, uh, 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 I've named it UU, how many square feet is it just for the fun of it, 317, okay, fine. Okay, now what do I, now how do I get that into a, a macro? Well, you come over to here to my general macro, UU, and I'm going to go, uh, right here, it's right there, it's, it's, uh, this is, you can, if you look at this closely, you can see those are the variables that are a function of whatever I do of, 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 of polyline boxes. So I'm going to come over here, and this is going to be the uh, new deck level three. I got to pick a macro for it over here. Pick a macro, insert macro, bump, and I apologize for the numbers. They probably don't make sense to you, and they barely make sense to me. It's a deck four value. That's, that's the name of my deck. There it is, 317. Now here's here's a kicker. Look at this. Everything's 316, isn't it? It just screws things up. I don't get it. So I gotta uh, what, what do I do? Hit, hit F10. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. F10. That didn't fix it either. So what do I do? Do I take this pipeline, Control X, copy, go down two levels, and Control V, paste it. 
Yeah, suddenly it's fixed. Suddenly these numbers are fixed. And so here's this, that's the deck I'm talking about, 317. Is this 317? You, I, 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 yeah, yeah, there it is, 317, perfect. And so now all I do is cop, uh, cut it out, go up two more levels, and I uh, put it right here. But actually I would probably want it on my uh, bump. I would probably want it on my, uh, oh, I did a pretty good job of that, did I? Oh, nine. I, didn't, I, I would probably want this on my level one anyway. So I'm, I'm going to change. This is really the size of the deck, by the way, which is, by the way, it's, uh, uh, it's 594, okay? So I come over to here. Do I see a 594? Yep, there it is. There it is, 594. Now, I told you what I was going to do is I was going to figure out the, the area of, of uh, uh, the deck at level two, the deck at level three. There it is, 594 and 602. So I need something to fill in that little question mark. And here it goes. I go TM and I go, uh, uh, There's. it's going to be a formula. It's going to be a formula. There it is right there. Okay, here we go. So this is a this is an additional formula addition formula that Michael gave me. So I'm going to copy this, and this is going to be F. This is going to be formula eight. Formula eight. Look, I got one through seven already. F one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is formula eight. This is new deck, new uh, D E C K. I come over here, delete this. Da, 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 da. No, oop, I need the brackets. I think. And hey, believe me, it's worth it to pay Michael some money to, to get the, these things for you because these. These new deck, new deck three, because he figures all this stuff out. New deck four dot round, so it's gonna be rounded off, okay? And uh, so my question is done. Okay, let's see. If, let's see if it works. You, you come down here. It's, I'm gonna take the, that formula eight. Remember the formula eight. That's what I'm doing right now. Going to insert macro, user defined, formula eight. Let's see if it works. New deck, bump, level 96. There it is. Now, if I change the size of this deck, watch this. I'm going to change it up. To, I don't know how big I'm going to change it. Watch this. That went up to 902. Deck at the third level is 902. The total is 1504. Is that freaking cool? So you can see the power of this thing. Let me stop for one second. How much time do I have? Do I have any time left? Oh, I got a minute and a half. Uh, let me stop for one second. I got to think where I'm going to go with this. Let me think. Okay, I know where I'm going to go with this. Uh, a, a couple, a couple key things. Uh, I think if you do not have nine, if you do not have your polyline labels on, if I turn my polyline labels on, off. Things are screwed up. I don't. I can't prove it right now. But I think Michael said if you turn poly, you have to have that label la layer on. You just got to. You just got to. You just have to. You got to have it turned on for what? Uh, for a particular anno set or layer set. I'm not sure what. But it, but but uh, obviously I don't have it turned on. But I'm going to believe Michael, and I'm going to I'm going to keep it turned on. I'm going to keep it turned on, by the way. So I'm going to keep it turned on. But this is what I'm going to get at. I'm going to see if this works right now. Okay, new deck four. You see this right here? Now you, you, uh, it has to be turned on, right? So what do I do for my for things that are going to uh, uh, um, uh, the site plan? All all I do is for the polyline labels, I just pick a uh, text style that is. Uh, don't I have it here somewhere too? Yeah, I mean, I, I give it a real small text size, so it just disappears. It's still on, but it disappears. That, that's what I do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put pull it, put it back on for some for whatever reason. Okay, I'm gonna try to wrap that wrap this up in the mess. No time. I, I'm gonna show you one other thing. Um, uh, nine uh, polyline labels. Thirty. <coughs> Actually, I think it's uh, fifteen. How about fifteen? Okay, there it is. New deck. New deck four, okay? Now, and, and I, I said when it goes to layout, it's very small. You can't even read it. But as we're working on this, what should we do? This is what I, I think. I, I've seen this work. Watch this. Equals, equals, equals. New deck four, value, value. Look, the first, look, look at the equation on the left-hand side. One of it, it says new deck four. That's the label of this thing. And it says equals, and now I'm going to put the value in there, okay? And if everything's hunky-dory, there you go, 594. 
Does that match this? Yeah, see? And see, and see, then it all screws this stuff up again. All those numbers are screwed up again. So if I select this thing, control X, go down a level, control V, bump, did it fix it? Nope, didn't fix it. Come down here, control X, go down a level, uh, control V. You know, I just cut the whole thing out. I'm, just, I'm, I'm experimenting. I'm trying to figure out. Michael said that I can't do it this way. Oh, yeah, see, I did it. There it is. Now it's on the first. This is so weird. It's on the first floor. So it's like you got to put it on the first floor. This is stupid, but I, I get it. But at least I know I don't know what the problem is. So this deck is 594. Watch this. That deck's 594. You can see it. So it's 594 over here. So everything's okie doke. And if I make this a little bigger, uh, that should make this a little bigger. 743. And this is 743. If I go Control C, it's going to be smaller. Back about 594. There it is, and it's 594 over here, but I really don't want it on this level. I want to control X. I want to go up through this on the third level. Control V, stick it right there, and I think everything's good. So what I'm getting at is I think I just figured it out finally. I think I just figured it out. If you put these boxes on a different layer, level, different level than the first level, you then have to cut them out, put them on the first level so... So the Cal the chief architect gods are happy. Uh, oh nine, and then and then and then you can uh, then then you can put them back up where you want them. And, you know, quite frankly, I almost want these on things on level one because that's what goes to layout. That's what what's showing. Okay, I'm gonna do it uh, one more second. Uh, th this right here. So I'm gonna take this one right, right here. You you uh, a label. Uh, this is this interesting. Uh, I finally I think I finally figured out the problem. This equals bump. I come over here. New deck object specific. No user defined. Uh, deck three, deck three, deck three, deck three, new value, deck three value. Yeah, deck three value. There it is. Done. See, it's 602 square feet. Is that true? Uh, sure is. 602. Everything goes to 602. Look, everything just went to 602 because of whatever. So what do I do? I take this thing right here, control, control X, go down one level, uh, zero six, paste in place, control X, go up back up here, uh, zero six to paste in place again. And if, if, if the gods like me, Everything's going to be there. The gods like me. I think both of these are 602. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey. Uh, this is uh, deck three. This, oh, uh, that's, uh, oh, yeah, no, they're all right. They're, it's all right. So you got to take it down. Look, you got to take it down to the first floor and move it back up. And so my point is, and, and Michael said I couldn't do this, but I am doing it now, and I like to be able to do it. New second, watch this label, new second, jump, bam, equals equals, and I, and I put this uh, macro, the value macro in here, object specific, uh, user defined right here. This is new second, new second right here, value. Watch this. And uh, I bet everything's screwed up. See, yeah, I got all these 1231s. I bet this is 1231. It is. So I take this, control X, go down a level, zero six to paste it in place. And now I once it's, once it's there, I can, I can now copy it again, control X, cut it out, go back up a level, zero six, paste it in place. And I think everything's going to be good. I know it's stupid, but I got to do it. There it is. Now everything's good. 1231. All those numbers are good. Now take it up from that floor down to the first floor. And so now this is really kind of cool because now you, now I can see that this, okay. And now let me go down one more level. Oh, look at this. Uh, 1231 uh, square footage. All these numbers are, it's changing all these numbers at one time. Not only is it changing this tabulation stuff, but it's changing this stuff over here too. All this stuff is getting changed at the same time. And by the way, I do not have control C. Watch this control C, B, U, U. Watch this. Uh, this is a new deck. Uh, ne watch this. This is new deck three. Uh, deck three. Uh, deck three. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, how do I do this? What am I? Okay. Deck. Deck. Uh, deck three but that's this is for the garage right so i come over here got this done i'm gonna go to deck three uh, i've already given the name insert macro bump deck, deck three right there it's a value it's a value right it's a value i'm looking for the value i'm not looking for deck three right here up above i'm looking for deck three value bump okay six oh oh did i do something wrong on this oh bump 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 as R3, I think, right? On our right, R3, R3, who cares? Uh, anyway, so 602, there it is, 602, which matches this six, 602 over here. So I, I am I am tabulating this stuff. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, 
if I wanted to, oh, I, oh, I haven't done it yet. Watch this. Watch this. U U. This is that Michael is going to get mad at me on this, but it's working for me. Is equal to uh, garage, new garage. And uh, look, I'm, I'm learning this stuff, and but I think I'm going to get pretty good at it. It's, it's going to be even better. And once you use the, uh, you know, I use the stand, you use the tempo, whatever you go. There it is, 380. So I, I can see it on this on the side plane. New garage is like equal 380 square feet. I can check over here; it's 380 square feet. I can come over here; it's 380 square feet. And by the way, that sh that also affects my floor area ratio, 380 square feet. Because if I come over here, look at the, the floor area ratio is 0.51. If I come over here to my garage tab and I make my garage this much bigger tab, which is uh, 746, it changes it here to 746. It changes it to here to. Change it to here to 746 right there, and it increased my floor area ratio. Is that freaking cool? I'm done. I did it. I figured it out. And uh, a quick comment here. Uh, Michael, Joe has his method. And with his method, each one of these polylines, is on, each one of these things is on its own layer. And somehow you get the, the because it's on its little, it's on its own layer, and somehow, you're still, you're, look, TTM. So, so what's the macro that Joe might not need? I need, well, Joe has to, I don't know what Joe, Joe has to do. I, I know Joe's going to have to have some, somehow have these formulas. Joe has to have these formulas, so somehow he has to write them. I saw some of his formulas, and they look, they look more complicated than this. Michael's not the brightest guy in the world, so he's going to try to keep this as simple as possible, and that's what he did, which I appreciate because I ain't too bright either. But there it is. I mean, this is cool stuff. Uh, and again, that's uh, this is uh, Michael, Michael, the Alaskan Sun stuff. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's. I think I, I don't know what he charges for this. I think it's ten or fifteen dollars, but it's a. It's it's well worth it. And believe me, I bore most of the cost of developing this thing, so you're. Take advantage of it. It's worth it. That's the end.